there welcome to service now three minutes channel uh, on this channel i would be putting up a uh, small videos uh, which would be like some use cases of uh, some of the development topics in service now and i hope that would help you uh, to build up such functionalities while you're working on any project or working on the you know, stories which you have okay so without any further ado uh, let's start Start and uh, today's topic, which I have picked uh, for this video, is a service portal uh, widget customization. So, how to create a custom widget and how to put that widget on the out of the box page. So, let's begin. Let's go to the application navigator on the left hand side and uh, let's look for the service portal application. So, we have the service portal application here, and uh, most probably we'll pick up the uh, the out of the box uh, index page will be renaming. Uh, we, we would be customizing one of the widgets on that page. So let's go to portals. So this would display all the available portals uh, on this instance. So service portal is the default portal here right now. So I click on it. So go and uh, customize, uh, let's say this one, this widget here. So how do I, uh, you know, put my widget? Suppose I want to make some changes to this widget and uh, I want to place that widget here, uh, replacing this out of the box widget. How do I do that? So right click on it, click on widget edit. Then I can click here and then I get an option clone current status. So this would clone the widget. So let me click here current outages and click on submit. So here we can see that widget has been created. Now I select this widget. So now this widget is open for editing and I can make any changes whatsoever, whatsoever I want. So uh, let me change something here. Maybe I'll just rename this current status to current outages and I click on save so my custom widget is ready now I have to attach this widget to my out of the box page I prefer working on the page editor for these kind of changes so click on page editor you go to the page editor uh, view custom widget so this is our custom widget here and save it so when we refresh it we can see that this name has changed that means our custom widget is working now and if you just right click control right click or command right click on it you get to see the custom widget name here and I think that's all for uh, that's all what I have in this first episode on the service now three minutes. <laughs>